Hi, hello, it's Eagle Song Gardener here at Ravencroft Garden. And today is the vernal equinox. I am really excited to be here with you today because it's a real um, celebration of, you know, it's, we've been moving away from the darkness and into the light and into the warmth and watching the green grow, although a friend of mine from Alberta told me it was 15 degrees there this morning, so I know we're not all in this place right now. But in a way we are all in this place because this is the one time of the year where the day and the night is equal on the whole planet. Think about that for a minute, that's just pretty exciting. So this morning, because I like to celebrate these cross quarters, and the solar holidays, the vernal equinox being the one that leads us into spring and summer. I went out to pick a bouquet and, and I thought, wow, what a great way to do phenology. You can make your celebration of the changing and turning of the wheel, which we now know is actually a spiral, by going out and picking a bouquet. What better way for a gardener to engage the energy around them and you don't have to have your own garden you can go anywhere and pick a bouquet so i invite you to do that today as one action it's pouring down rain here i'm so glad i got out early this morning but we also are of course planting now because it's warming up the seeds are willing to go into the ground it's of course the holiday where the eggs are coming our chickens are laying bountifully and that's really exciting but I just want to show you this one simple thing I did. A lot of people tell me they don't have any place for a garden. And, and my attitude being a gardener is there is no place that you live that you can't have a garden. So look here. We made a little salad basket for today. Just whipped up some lettuce and kale and put in spinach and some violas which are of course edible, a couple little parsleys. And in about a month, this is gonna be chock full. We'll show it to you next time. All right, and then this is one underway. So of course, this little garden is another possibility. You don't have to have a big place to have a garden. You don't have to start everything from seed. You can go down to the box store and get plants and, and build yourself a wee garden at home. So really finding how to be engaged with the energy of the season, with the energy all around us all the time, this is what we find gives us a great deal of well-being and health, to know that there's this vital dance going on all the time, and it's always changing. And even though we think of spring as the maiden or the young woman, my friend Karina Wood just sent word that you know, this is the time where the old woman comes walking out of the woods and she's haggard. She's been on a vision quest. Her clothes are tattered. But you know, that's actually all these trees that haven't put their, their leaves out yet. They've made it through the winter again and they're the structure that holds all the new growth. So we look forward to hearing from you. We look forward to having you come out for classes at Ravencroft. And we're online now with HerbWise Women. So if you want to, to be able to access information from a garden, an herbalist in a garden, then you can check us out at eaglesong.gardener, no, eaglesong-gardener.com. And I believe HerbWise Women is finding her own way, but just check it out and we will keep in touch with you. All right, good to see you here on the Vernal Equinox. We wish you and your family well. May the sun and the rain kiss you and your garden through the next six weeks as we move around the wheel of the year in the spiral of time.